Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be trying out a new eyeshadow primer and this is the Sephora Collection Boost and Lock Eyeshadow Primer. It runs for $12, it is fragrance free, vegan. It's supposed to intensify the pigmentation of our eyeshadow and prolong the wear. It's supposed to be non-greasy, non-sticky. It's supposed to also have a radiant matte natural finish. So today we're gonna to be testing it out. We're gonna see what is the consistency like. Does it have a pigmentation to it? Does it enhance the vibrancy of our eyeshadow? And if you guys have ever tried an eyeshadow primer, it could be a hit and miss you guys so I'm a little nervous just because when it comes to Sephora products I feel like it can be a hit and miss sometimes so I'm hoping for the best and everything that I used to get ready for today will be listed in the description box in case you're interested please don't forget to like share and subscribe it really does help out my channel and as always let's jump on in and finish getting ready for the day so in case you haven't seen the packaging this is basically it and you do receive 0.33 fluid ounces so I feel like it's a good amount this could essentially last you a long time depending obviously on how much product you use how often you use it but it does also come with a a dofa applicator which I like it's nice and spongy it's almost so like flexible at the same time so I personally really like it I feel like I'll apply a generous amount on your lids and obviously you can apply this directly on your lids use your finger to blend out the product a sponge or even a brush so I personally really like it as for a scent I don't pick up a scent to this primer which I'm actually surprised usually it smells like I don't know like glue or like makeup or something but this doesn't have a scent to it at all as for the consistency to be really honest it feels really moisturizing when you apply it on at first but it does take a moment for it to dry down but once it is dry it definitely is sheer it's translucent has a slight little pigmentation to it but it's very very light I feel like you probably won't pick it up on camera and honestly I feel like once you apply an eyeshadow I think you won't even notice it either so that is the only thing but it does so far have a matte finish to it I've applied it on in the center on the back of my hand um, so so far it definitely has a matte finish I'm really excited to apply this on the only thing that I can think of right now that I'm a little worried about is when it comes to more like translucent eyeshadow primers if you're not careful and you don't apply on an even amount and blend it out evenly throughout your lid sometimes it can apply on your eyeshadow can start looking a little patchy and become a big issue so that is the only thing to kind of you know keep in the back of your mind so go ahead and apply on this eyeshadow primer directly on my lid and apply up probably applying on a little too much but it's fine and I'm gonna go in with a blending brush and blend out this eyeshadow primer all around the lid and this is kind of like my preferred method I personally don't really like having like dirty hands so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this brush to blend it out throughout my lid I just finished applying on this eyeshadow primer on the right side and let me tell you so far it was really easy to blend out the product using my little blending brush it applied on really nicely really evenly I can definitely feel like it's moisturizing but it doesn't feel tacky and so far it's definitely really translucent I don't really see a pigmentation to it so let me go ahead and give you enough close clips so you can see for yourself on how it's currently looking obviously keep in mind that on the left side I don't have anything on but so far I feel like it's looking pretty good I didn't have any issues I feel like it's basically translucent it's looking pretty good it's definitely a matte finish so now we're gonna go in it to our first eyeshadow palette and this is the Nomad X Tuscana eyeshadow palette I think I received it in my BoxyCharm or my Ipsy Glam Back Plus monthly subscription and I really like this eyeshadow especially Floor de Latte I think that's how you pronounce the name of this eyeshadow shade and it's basically like a cream kind of like off-white eyeshadow and I'm just gonna go in with my blending brush from BH Cosmetics pick up a little bit of eyeshadow and just apply it throughout the lid as our base shade we're gonna go in to our transition shade and we're gonna use the same brush because we just like to make things easier here <laughs> and I'm gonna use the same eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna go into Cantusi this really beautiful like mocha brown eyeshadow I absolutely love this eyeshadow shade I use it all the time and I'm just gonna dip my brush into this palette and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it within the crease of the lid doing windshield wiper motions and then just building the pigmentation blending everything out now that I finished applying on my transition shade in the crease of the lid we're gonna go ahead and jump on into the second eyeshadow that we're gonna go ahead and apply on but actually before I forget let me give you an up-close clip of how my eyes are currently looking so you can say get a side-by-side -side comparison and see you know 
what it's all currently looking like. And let me tell you, I didn't have any issues blending out the product. Nothing has applied on patchy. The only thing that I have noticed so far that on the left side of my face, my eye is definitely not as vibrant. I had to go in a few more times trying to build the pigmentation so it can kind of look even from one side to the other so that is the only thing but so far i haven't had any issues everything i feel like is looking pretty good so far so we're gonna go ahead and jump on into our kvd shade and light palette i'm not sure what the name of this specific palette is but i will look for it and i will have it linked down below in the description box for you guys but the basically why i picked up this eyeshadow palette because that royal blue is just so so pretty i have never used it but i've always eyed it and that's honestly what grabbed my attention and why I purchased this eyeshadow palette. We'll definitely also use this really beautiful like metallic silver as well for today's look. So we're going to go in with our Luxie 213 eye shading brush. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this blue eyeshadow. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it in the corner of the eye. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pat it, building the pigmentation. Because I do want it to be pretty vibrant and blue and so far it's looking so so pretty love the undertone to this eyeshadow and it's not as shimmery as i thought it would be but still it's so so nice so i'm just going to go ahead and apply it on and i'm going to go in with a blending brush that is obviously clean that doesn't have anything on it and i'm just going to go in and go over the crease of the lid where we've applied on that blue eyeshadow just so everything looks really blended and it doesn't look harsh so once I started applying on the blue eyeshadow, I quickly realized that it wasn't blending really nicely. And let me tell you, it didn't blend nicely on either side of my eye for today's look. So we're just going to run with it, and this is the best that I could do. So I'm hoping for the best for the next step. Let me give you an up-close clip on how my eyes are currently looking comment down below so far what do you guys think to be really honest i didn't notice a difference from one side to the other on the vibrancy or the blendability of so far this royal blue eyeshadow so i feel like they're pretty much tie at this point when it comes to this specific eyeshadow that i've applied on i didn't notice a difference from one to the other but so far i really love the blue pigment to it unfortunately it's not as shimmery as i thought it would be but i'm hoping that the low, the silver shade in the palette it's going to give that little pop of something and so I'm going to go in it with my wet and wild Bretman walk Bretman rock detailed brush and I'm just going to go back in and pick up a little bit of that metallic silver shade and I'm just going to go in and pick up a little bit of the eyeshadow I'm just going to go and apply it throughout the rest of the lid and I'm just hoping that they're going to it's going to blend really nicely with that royal blue just because that royal blue girl does not want to blend for its life for some reason <laughs> and so far as much as I've tried to apply on the really beautiful metallic kind of like silver eyeshadow in the corner of the lid I feel like it's really really pretty but I just don't really like the transition from that silver to the royal blue so I'm gonna go in it to the LA girl main stage desert dream eyeshadow palette and I'm just gonna go into this really beautiful I don't even know the name to this eyeshadow but I'm gonna go into this really beautiful like light blue eyeshadow love the pigmentation into it so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it in the center just to melt both of those eyeshadows together it just needs like a little bit more like something a little bit more and so far just using my finger it is looking beautiful i feel like that's exactly what i needed to tie them both <laughs> together so i just finished on my eyes let me give you an up close clip of how my eyeshadow is currently looking from one side to the other and to be really honest i feel like it looks looking really really good i didn't notice a difference when i applied on that like lighter blue eyeshadow i didn't notice like i had to use more eyeshadow than one side to the other everything blended really nicely and i definitely feel like it tied the look together really well i love the silver like metallic kind of eyeshadow it's really really pretty again tricky to blend on this product product but overall I really like how the look is kind of like pulling together so far so I'm gonna go in with my morphe little dome shader brush and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the blue eyeshadow that we applied on in the upper lash and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it in the corner of the eye just dabbing it on and just connecting it slightly 
to the upper lash line. I quickly applied on eyeliner, and the eyeliner that I used is the LA Girl Shockwave Metallic Eyeliner, and this is in the shade Ocean. I feel like it matches perfectly with the blue eyeshadow that we've applied on for today. And I'm gonna go back into the Nomad Toscana eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna use my Blendy brush that we were using earlier to apply on Cantusi, the really beautiful mocha brown. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on the lower lash line to kind of blend out the edges and just so everything kind of looks blended and seamless and all looking you know cohesive as one and not looking at too harsh all right you guys i have the finish getting ready what do you guys think of today's look girl i feel like it turned out so so good i kind of blew myself away just because you know i kind of winged it today i didn't know what i was gonna do i didn't know what was gonna happen the blue just didn't want to blend girl i got a little nervous i was like oh my god what am i gonna do and it actually turned out really well. I'm really happy uh, with the look that I've created for today. And I also don't really feel like I notice a difference from one side to the other using the eyeshadow primer. I definitely noticed a difference when I applied on my crease shade at first. I feel like one side was definitely more vibrant. I didn't have to dip my brush into the pan too many times, trying to build the pigmentation like I did on the left side. And so far when it came to the more shimmery shadows like the royal blue and the metallic silver eyeshadow, I feel like they all kind of reacted the same way consistently from one side to the other. Granted, I feel like it wasn't the eyeshadow primer that gave me issues blending out that royal blue shadow. I think it was just the formula of the eyeshadow itself. But overall, I feel like we made it work for today and I really like the look that I've created. And I hope you guys do too. I love the price point. I'm going to continue testing this out. I love that it's fragrance free, vegan. I love the formula of it. It felt really moisturizing. It blended really nicely. And it honestly felt like I didn't have anything on it and feel greasy, sticky, or anything like like that so I'll continue testing this out so stay tuned for one of my monthly fave and fails but everything that I used I will have it linked down below in the description box I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you have any questions also comment down below ask away I'm always here to help please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you watched this video this far thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you all in my next video I love you all so so much bye